Hi, I'm Allison and I'm coming to you today from the St. Paul campus at the University of Minnesota. I'm going to demonstrate really quickly today how to put together our video kits. The other thing I'm also demonstrating in this video is the two different types of microphones that we have included in the kits. So right now you'll notice that I'm actually wearing a um, wired lapel mic that's uh, threaded over to the iPad which is um, sitting across from me. Um, I will let you know and when I switch over to the wired list um, Bluetooth mic that we have. And so I'll switch mics halfway through and you'll be able to hear the difference. You'll also notice that we have a lot of ambient um, outdoor noise, some wind noise, um, some traffic noise behind me. So you'll get a sense of how filming works in this kind of outdoor noisy environment um, and just be able to gauge for your own video projects. All right, so let's get started putting together the kit. All right, so I switched over to the wireless Bluetooth mic now, and I'm going to demo how to put together the kit, and I'll be wearing this while I'm demoing it. And you may hear a little bit of difference in the sound quality, so that's just kind of a, a helpful way to gauge um, how this mic sounds. All right, so to put together this kit, all you have to do is um, set up your tripod first, and then there's a screw here on the side of the tripod that lets you take the top part of the tripod and turn it upright vertically. Um, so we've got this sort of vertical piece here that can sit like that and screw it back into place. And that's what's gonna hold our um, iPad kind of upright like this. Then you wanna take the um, iPad adapter portion of the tripod and just click it into place. It'll kind of sit like uh, any other sort of thing you stick on top of a tripod. Um, all right, and that just sits flat like that. Then we're going to grab the iPad, uh, and the adapter is actually pretty simple to use then. You just have to pull it out, um, and it should stretch with the iPad, and you can just snap the iPad into place. Just make sure that the adapter itself isn't covering where the camera is on the iPad. All right, so you just need to be careful when you set up the iPad that the adapter doesn't kind of sit there like that awkward, you know, putting your thumb over the, over the front of your camera. All right, so onto the audio portion. Once you've got the video kind of set up, um, the way you get audio into this is uh, use this, what I like to call again, the magic dongle. And you can tell it's uh, the right dongle because it has this little pink bit on it. Um, and that's what you want to plug directly into the iPad, all right? So this dongle needs to go here into the iPad, into the audio jack there. Um, and that's what's going to let us use our different microphones with this iPad. You can also use this for other mobile devices, mobile phones. Um, this is the dongle you need to make sure that the microphones work well and record. You may get wonky audio if you forget to use this, so make sure you plug this in every time. All right, so that's going to sit in our iPad. All right, so once this dongle is into the iPad, we can go ahead and uh, I'll show you first how to use the wired lapel mic. You're going to go ahead and give the... Um, Give the uh, microphone portion to your video star and have them sort of gently um, thread it up their shirt. And then once they've done that, you can take the opposite end. Sorry, I'm all tangled up here. You can take the other end and just put it straight into this dongle. So you'll notice this dongle is just the right size to fit a um, mini jack like this. And those two, once they're together, you're um, hooked up to go for audio. And then just make sure before you start filming that you turn the on switch on. On this wired lapel mic, there is a little on switch. You need to turn it on. All right, so that's the wired lapel mic. The wireless is a little more complicated. Still not too bad, hopefully. It actually has three pieces. One of them is the receiver. That's the one that's gonna go um, on the iPad end. The other is the transmitter. That's the one that's gonna go on your, um, your film star. Uh, and then this dongle, there's a second dongle involved in this that's gonna go on the receiver. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside for now. We're gonna focus on the receiver. There's only one input jack on the receiver, so it should be pretty obvious where you plug this dongle into. This is an all black dongle. You can tell it's um, different. It's only got two rings on each side. If you look at the little ends of the, uh, the microphone or the jacks here, it's got two rings. And you're gonna plug this then, once you've got one end, it doesn't matter which end goes in which, but once you've got one end in here, you plug the other end into the dongle that's still uh, sitting on the iPad here. All right, so this is kind of a double dongle setup. You're ready to go with this. You just need to make sure you turn this side on, this side of the receiver on. Um, you can adjust the levels on the side here on the wireless receiver. You can adjust the levels up and down um, and just make sure you're getting the right video or the right um, amount of audio pickup. If you turn it all the way down, you're not gonna pick up anything. So just make sure you test it a couple times and adjust these levels before you really actually start your shoot and make sure the levels are working for your, the environment that you're in. And then when I'm done with um, plugging in this receiver, I just like to stick it here um, and uh, just put it somewhere on the uh, tripod stand. All right, the last part of this is to turn on the uh, microphone part of this whole setup and then give this to your video star and they can kind of just put it subtly or not so subtly like I have here underneath their uh, shirt like this. Um, 
So these are kind of, you'll notice they're slightly big um, and that's kind of an unfortunate price we have to pay for getting some really pretty long range, pretty reliable mics. Um, so hopefully you're able to kind of encourage um, folks to wear kind of a shirt that will help hide this, um, but these should work really well and get us some really great range and some good reliability in microphone um, and wireless. All right, so that's all, that's all there is to the setup. Remember, again, always do a little trial run before you start filming your actual footage. Make sure your audio levels are working, um, but this should be good to go. All right, enjoy, have fun.